Hey guys, Rob here with 3D Printscape. Today I'm going to go over printer maintenance. I'm going to be using my Ender 3 as an example, um, but a lot of these principles will apply to most printers on the market. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, the reason why maintenance is important is really because if you neglect your printer, you're going to start having issues, whether it be failed prints, uh, you could potentially start having hardware just break, go bad, or whatever the case may be. So spending 10 minutes here or there to perform the maintenance is well worth it in the long run. Uh, before we get started, um, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. It'll really help our channel grow. Thanks. So what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on the printer and then I'm going to kind of talk about some of the key maintenance points, how I handle it. Um, if you guys handle things differently or have any other recommendations, please leave a comment below. Uh, I'd love to get your feedback. All right, so let's go to get started. All right, guys, so with maintenance, there is no right answer on how often it should be done. So some people say that you should do it after every print. Other people say that it just depends on how long your prints are. You can go for 20 hours, 40 hours. Some people say 100 hours. Um, so really, the advice is all over the board. So what I do is I will check a couple key things after every couple prints, so after every two prints, regardless of uh, the duration. And then uh, if I'm running the printer frequently, I will check a couple more things on a weekly basis just to make sure we're good there. And if I see any issues with the printer or I have uh, any trouble with uh, prints or anything like that, um, as I'm fixing the issue that's causing the actual print issue, uh, I will also just go through a list and make sure that I'm covered there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and start with what I check after every two prints. Uh, really, it's going to be uh, two things. A, I'm going to make sure that my build plate is still somewhat level and that it's uh, not wobbly. So if you go like this and you're getting a lot of play, uh, you want to make sure that you adjust that. I did a video covering how to actually tighten up um, the bolts. Um, I think it was a couple weeks back, but I'll link to it in the description below so you don't have to go searching for it. Right, sorry about that. I was just checking to see what those two cables were. It's just the power going to the fan. All right, so that's what I'll do after every couple prints. Basic maintenance. Um, just making sure that your bed is level and stable. Um, so going to a weekly basis, there are a couple key things that I'm checking. A is going to be your belts. I check all the belts and make sure that they still have the right tension, that none of them are loose, and just making the adjustments as needed because that will have a huge impact on the print itself. Um, really, you've got two belts, so it doesn't take long. You just make sure that it's um, tight, but not too tight. You can kind of get underneath it here and uh, make sure that there's enough tension on it so that uh, it's keeping the um, either the bill plate or the extruder moving, but not so much that it's going to potentially snap or cause things to kind of grind. So after I check the belts, I go through and make sure that there's no dust or anything or any debris on the wheels, make sure that everything kind of moves freely like it should. Um, I typically will use canned air and just kind of spray into here to make sure it gets all of the debris out and same down here. Um, I also use the canned air to clean out the fans. So I've got the modified uh, fan ducting up here, so it's a little bit different, but you still have the same fans. So just spray it here, kind of get the dust out here and here. And then also on your power supply and on the control board, which for the Ender 3, it's gonna be up top. For the Ender 3 Pro, it's at the bottom. So you kind of have to lift it up to spray. Um, but I do that like once a week just to make sure that there's no buildup or anything like that and to keep things uh, running uh, at, as best as I can. And that's important because, um, well, with the fans, if it gets really dusty, you could potentially be throwing dust into the filament or getting it on the printer or something like that, uh, which can cause just little issues. But more importantly, with like your controller and the power supply, you could potentially cause it to overheat. Uh, so just spending a couple minutes every week just hitting those two things or a few things, um, it's worth it to me. Um, it will really it'll extend the life of your printer and then it'll help get you the best quality prints as possible all right and then the last thing that i do for maintenance which i pretty much do monthly or every four times when i'm doing the weekly maintenance is i will take off the fan duct cover and just make sure that there's no dust or any type of debris 
over by the hot end so just kind of uh, cleaning that off and then look for any melted filament um, and then just scrape that off if there is any uh, really it's just helping to uh, make sure that a potential problem doesn't get worse or it doesn't start causing problems uh, so here it'll just be taken off this piece uh, if you don't have the modified cover it's actually easier it's just a couple screws that's easy to pop off then you can um, uh, remove the actual enclosure here and just uh, get into the hot end and just clean it up a little bit a lot of times you'll just see clunks of dust or uh, really just debris sitting there uh, and if you don't clean it up it's just going to keep building up over time and potentially cause issues uh, I mean I guess maintenance is just that it's maintenance I mean this is all really just standard maintenance I don't know why it's difficult for some people uh, I, it's easy to um, ignore things like that uh, but if you do it you're going to end up causing problems that you could have prevented uh, so just spending that little bit of time um, after every couple prints weekly and then monthly for um, just cleaning out everything around the hot end uh, it will really it just helps make sure your printer is performing at the best it possibly can uh, it's as simple as that um, if you neglect maintenance, you're going to potentially have issues with your boards frying out, potentially your power supply fi uh, frying or overheating, um, and then you'll end up having to replace those parts or replace the printer. So to me, it's worth spending the time to do the maintenance. Um, if you feel differently or if you're doing anything else maintenance-wise that I haven't covered here, um, go ahead and leave a comment below. I would love to get your feedback and if you have some good ideas, I'll probably start incorporating them into my maintenance routines. But that's all I got here. Um, I, this was a quicker video. Uh, it's more of, I had a couple people ask just for general maintenance recommendations to, uh, via email. So I figured I would do a quick video talking about what I do. Um, and as you can see, there's really just not that much to it. Uh, it's simple but it's not uh, if you if you don't know quite what you're doing or what you're looking for you could potentially be doing the wrong maintenance or um, I guess causing it more harm than good would be a better way to phrase it um, but just going through doing uh, what we covered uh, will really help extend the life of your printer and really get you the best prints possible all right all right guys, that covers printer maintenance. As you can see, it's not that difficult and doing it on a regular cadence will help uh, provide better print quality overall and extend the life of your printer. Uh, if you have any questions or have any additional feedback, uh, make sure to leave a comment below. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. Thanks.